to, to progress anywhere, but he, he managed to do his run and stay focused even though he knew it was over, which is good to see anyway. So Lucien Delfour now, the Australian, the two-time Olympian, and we know he's super fast. We know what he's capable of. We've seen him lay down runs that have been absolutely mesmerizing. Yeah, he can really go fast when he's on it. Light paddler, uh, very good at having this, the boat speed very high. He had uh, ooh, oh, yeah. a little bit of trouble there, but he's fast enough to make up for that. Yeah, not. I would say he's losing some time here. I think he will not gain any time from the split. I think he will be more off now. Oh, I was completely yeah. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's, 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 <laughs> it's deceiving watching him. Yeah. Oh, oh, but there's a touch. Yeah. There's a touch, unfortunately, for Lucien as he went through. They haven't given it. Yes, there it is, gate 13. I'm pretty certain I saw that with his paddle. Yeah. Just brushed the gate. So he's really going to have to lay down something special here now to be in the mix. Yeah. I think Lucien has the cap capacity to really put something special down. So let's see if he can do something. Oh, he three, three seconds. Yeah. The way. He's going to have to really nail this move here. Those gates were very nice. He'll go direct. I'm pretty certain about that. Oh, no, he doesn't. He's going to take on the spin. Yeah. And lost a bit of time, unfortunately. So Lucien Del Four, I don't think it's going to be enough for him no, to get through. No, but he he's like, yeah, trying his best. And that's always good to see. Without the touch, it would still be in a quite good time. But... Yeah, the touches are costly. We, we will see it through the, the whole field.